What's up, guys? It's your boy, Killing Views, and today we're reviewing the Jordan 1 University Blues. So, I think first off, we should look at the design of them. You know, get into the little nitpick. So, first, I'm going to end up moving the box away, and let's just talk about, you know, the design of them. So, you know, just your average, regular Jordan 1, but in a sweet color. This is probably, this is a tough one. This is going to be a controversial one. Top 10 colorway of all time. Top 10 colorway of all time. Easily top 10 colorway of all time. One of the most hyped up Jordan 1s I've ever seen. My favorite Jordan 1 of all time. You know, I'm going to start calling these the TikTok 1s. Let's just, let's just get used to it now. These are the TikTok 1s. You know what I'm saying? Look at that bottom, man. These things are dead stock. I haven't worn them yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to wear these for my birthday. Early birthday present. But, you know... Got that tumble leather, you know what I'm saying? Look at the tumble leather on these. This, look at the suede. This suede is moving. I bought these off GOAT. Got them for a decent deal. But look at this suede. This suede is moving. That is crazy, bro. You know, here's a shoe. Clean. Like I said, top 10. And I never noticed it. The in, like the tongue on the Jordan ones is so nice, you know. Got your tag there. You know what I'm saying? You want to read that? You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll show you what the uh, leather Jordan ones look like. So, which one do I want to compare? These two. Here's kind of the leather. And the suede look. Leather's a lot more shinier, but the suede is a lot nicer. You know what I'm saying? Look at these colors, man. You just can't beat these colors. Purple. I these are my two favorite Jordans of all time. And it might be biased saying these are my first Jordan 1 highs, these two. You know, I've had these for about three months. Almost three months. In love with the shoes still. You know what I'm saying? I've worn these probably about four or five times. These ones, I don't know. This is a really expensive shoe, so probably only gonna be for my birthday and special events. You know what I'm saying? Clean. That padding on the ankle. Alright, though. So, let's get into the comfort of these. So, I think the comfort of the Jordan 1s has always been kind of lackluster. You know what I'm saying? You spend, you know, people spend this much money on a shoe that's not even that comfortable. But there is ways to, like, because for my core purples, they feel, they're, they're a little bit more comfortable than when I got them saying I'm, I haven't broken them in. You know what I'm saying? I haven't broken them in like I did my mids. The Chicago's, those things are fresh. But um, besides that, you know, Jordan ones have never been that comfortable. You'd have to get like special insoles for them to be really, really comfortable, which you know, I may or may not do, depending on how much I like these. Because you know, once you get to a point where you like a shoe so much, you know, you take that, you know, you do that extra expense for something like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, probably the most, the best Jordan of this year. If the canary yellow Jordan one, like the off white one, doesn't come out. Then these, this is going to definitely be the best Jordan 1 of the year. By a long shot. Easily. Man, this is just... It's, it's crazy, you know? Really blessed to be in the situation that I am. And, you know, probably going to be the last Jordan 1 I get for a minute, you know? Because I'm going to get back into reviewing tech. You know, that's kind of what this channel was based off of, you know? I'm going to do a review on this right after I'm done with these. You know what I'm saying? Insane shoe, per, like, but, you know, I'm just talking about the pros now. I'll get to the cons later, but the pros, super comfortable. Look at this leather, man. You don't get this quality of leather. Like, this leather is crazy. Like, this leather, you just, you just can't find that leather anywhere else, man. This leather, this suede, bro, this suede is so nice. Like, this shoe right here. One of the greatest shoes of all time.
not greatest color, one of the greatest colorways of all time. You know, it's kind of like the core purple. Basic colorway, but it's super, you know, the simplistic usually is the nicest. I didn't compare the tongues, but the tongue is different on this one than the leather one. The leather one has a leather tongue. This is kind of like a, well, not, not like a soft tongue, but kind of like the inside, like right here. That's what it feels like. You know what I'm talking about? A little weird because you can see the lettering, but it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? Clean shoe. One of the greatest of all time. In love, honestly. But let's get to the let's get to the cons about this shoe. So starting off the cons, you know, this is this is this is more of like a this is a littler one, but it didn't come with white laces. I don't know what it is, but like if they're gonna give something like the crimson pink two laces, it, it came with like green laces and then black laces and then pink laces. Why can't you give these ones at least the white laces too? Like I'd rather have the white over the black. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know if I should put these ones, you know, because I'm just going to put white laces in these. White laces are going to look the best by a long shot. So I just know why they didn't include white laces in them. Now, you know, that's the little thing. You can always order laces that are like $8 off Amazon. But, you know, that's kind of one of the problems I have. Another problem I have, the quality control on these is terrible. Look at the quality control. You can see the glue. Yeah, you can see how much excessive glue there is, especially on the back. Mine's came with a mark right here. It's a brown mark. But, you know, it's terrible. Like, the quality control on these is terrible. Like, it's really bad, you know? I requested a return on GOAT. Um, I bought these for 410 and they came in way worse quality or from what the pictures showed, because I got them with markings. You know, I save that, I save that money. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it did not look like this when I got these. It had like one glue stain, and if I'm being honest, I think it was on this pair. Somewhere in here, it was right here. Just this one right here. I wouldn't have minded if it was right there, but it's, I don't know, man. It's disappointing. Such a clean shoe, and then like, I've never seen such bad quality control. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'd expect a shoe like this to have some insane quality control. You know, this is one of their hyper releases. They only made like 130,000 pairs worldwide. So, you think this thing would have insane quality control, but it's just terrible. That's a really big con for me. A really big con. I mean, because, you know, looking at the core purples, the core purples have nowhere near that much clue. So it's hard for me to, you know, give it that really high ranking. And on top of that, the tongue is messed up too. See how, like, you can see the lettering? I, I don't like that. You know, I know how I mentioned it is not that big of a deal. It, it isn't, but, like, you know, those are, those, like, the laces and that are nitpicking. The glue, on the other hand, not nitpicking. That's it's just terrible, man. Especially for, you know, $170 shoe for retail. You know, it, it's, it's really kind of an insult, if I'm being honest. The people who just you know want a nice sneaker, man, because they give us this terrible quality sneaker, and then like, it's like, come on, man, like, you give me this terrible quality sneaker when I need a good quality, you know, sneaker for especially for how much these are going for. Because it's not like they're gonna keep restocking these like they do Air Forces, right? You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna keep having these come in. There's only gonna be like hundred like forty some thousand pairs out there, or hundred thirty, hundred forty some thousand pairs out there. So. And, you know, I've really seen it a lot that the quality control has been terrible for a lot of people, too. So, I mean, it's probably not going to be as noticeable as on feet, on feet, but, you know, it still kind of is annoying. But back to, you know, and uh, the pros. <laughs> well, not the pros. I already went over the pros, but you know, that's kind of it. I asked, I was trying to get a return for these, you know. It's not the condition I expected. Way worse than I expected. Disappointing. Because, you know, this was supposed to be a shoe I was going to wear on my birthday. But, you know. It is what it is. Alright. You know. Now I just got to film some B-roll. And that's going to be the video. Alright, peace.